Hi, I'm GNT and today I'm going to take you through the Webster Axe Kick. A beautiful move if done correctly and a variation of one of my favourite moves. Before attempting this move you'll need a Webster to a good standard. If you need help with this then there is a link to my tutorial in the YouTube description. There are several methods of doing Webster as I mentioned in my tutorial. As you can probably see from the clips I've shown already, I actually prefer the lower Webster for everything. So I will try to demonstrate the higher Webster to the best of my ability, but it's something that I don't normally do. The setup for this move can be standing, but if you struggle or want to make the move more clean, add a few steps and finish with a skip step to help create more momentum and power for the move. Just on the last step, make sure you bend your leg and start from a low position to prepare the jump foot and make sure your foot is in front of your body, ready for takeoff. This will block your energy to go up and stop you from rotating into the ground. Jump as hard as you can off the jumping leg as this will give you more height to complete the move and it will be the kicking leg unless you go for a switch instead. As you do this, kick your back leg up straight and strong. Think of it like you want to kick yourself in the back of the head. Timing the jump with the leg kicking back is key to getting more height and to do your best possible Webster. Try to keep your chest up and look forward or in front at the beginning as this will help you rotate around your chest rather than rotating around your hips like the low version. When doing the lower Webster version, you keep your body closer to the takeoff leg and rely more upon your flexibility and rotational power instead. Swing the jumping leg side arm forwards and then around to help with rotation. I like to circle it and then grab behind my jumping leg to stay tighter for the rotation and to help delay the kick so it is more aesthetically pleasing. Push the opposite arm forwards and around to help with rotation as well. There are other methods of using the arms to help your rotation, so experiment and see what works best for you. Whatever the method you use, just try not to throw your arms straight down as this will make you go down and low with your rotation. Instead, throw your arms around you like previously mentioned for a more efficient rotation. As you feel the rotation coming to an end, thrust down the other leg and reach for the floor. As you do this, let go of the leg that is going to kick and then land on the ball of your foot to absorb impact. You don't want to land flat footed as this will damage your joints. After you jump, try to keep that leg extended throughout the flip and tuck in the leg that kick back will help the rotation, but be ready to extend it and reach for the ground when coming out of the flip. If you are still struggling, try the move off of something higher first in a safe environment as this will give you more time to complete the move and work on your technique. Then gradually decrease the height so you can do it on the floor. If you are confident with this stage and do parkour or free running, then you might be comfortable and want to take this outside due to you flipping off objects instead of doing it more on the ground. Most injuries for this move are caused by under rotating and still trying to fight the landing. So my advice for you is if you're landing awkwardly to go with the motion and just fall instead of damaging yourself. When you are confident with the move, try it off the spot. Try harder versions like the free walkover or do it in a combination. When doing the low webster into a combination, it's more like landing on one foot with a webster and continuing into a combination. This concludes my tutorial on the webster axe kick. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social media and good luck with your training. Team GNT, peace out.